Hi everyone, we're going to make the rotation of axis to eliminate the xy term in the given conic. Alright, uh, we're going to use these formulas and in order to use them, I'm going to have to find my theta, my angle. And what we use is the fact that cotan of 2 theta is going to equal a minus c divided by p. And in our case, our a is 2, our b is square root of 3, and our c is 1, looking at the standard form here. So this is going to give us 2 minus 1 divided by square root of 3, which equals 1 divided by square root of 3. That means, um, to make this simpler, uh, it's easier to know tan of 2 theta. And all I have to do is do the reciprocal of that because cotan is 1 divided by tan. So this is going to be square root of 3. Now if we just did tan of theta equals square root of 3, then my angle would be um, pi divided by 3. But we have 2 theta, so we're going to set 2 theta equals pi divided by 3 and divide both sides by 2. Uh, and we get pi divided by 6. So that's what we're going to use for our two formulas. Alright, so basically this is more the tedious part and you just fill everything in. We have, uh, let's do x first. So x is going to equal x prime times cosine of pi divided by 6 minus y prime sine of pi divided by 6. So this gives you x prime times square root of 3 divided by 2 minus y prime times 1 half. And we have the same denominator here so we can write this as, uh, let's do square root of 3 first, square root of 3 uh, x prime minus y prime. Now for the y we do basically the same thing. Um, it's going to be a plus and our uh, functions get um, changed. So we have sine of pi divided by 6 and then a plus y prime uh, cosine of pi divided by 6. So this is going to give you x prime times 1 half plus y prime times square root of 3 divided by 2. Now this is going to equal x prime plus square root of 3 uh, y times y prime all divided by 2. Alright, now this is the hard part. We're going to substitute in our x and our y back into our original uh, conic here. Uh, and then we're going to have to simplify. So basically this is going to be 2 times square root of 3 x prime minus y prime divided by 2 squared plus square root of 3 and then we're going to get square root of 3x prime minus y prime divided by 2 times x prime plus square root of 3 times y prime divided by 2 plus x uh, prime plus see, square root of 3y prime divided by 2 squared. Now that's for this part here. We still have to do those. So this one's going to be plus 5 times square root of 3 times x. So that's going to be uh, square root of 3. Uh, x prime minus y prime divided by 2. And then we have a plus 5 times your y, which is x prime plus square root of 3 y prime divided by 2. And all this equals 5 divided by 2. Alright, so everything has a 2 in it, so we can basically clear the fractions and get rid of the 2's. So all we really have to do with this, um, uh, if you divide everything by, uh, or multiply everything through by 2, uh, the 2's will go away. And then, I did already did the simplification, so I don't, that part's kind of easy. So uh, what you're going to get is uh, 5 times x prime 
uh, squared plus y prime squared plus 20x prime equals 5. Now we're going to um, see what we get. Um, we want to know if we're getting an ellipse or hyperbola or um, a conic and get the information from that. Uh, you can tell with this plus and they're both squares it's going to be a conic or it could be a circle but it's so oh, since the, our coefficients are the same here it's going to be uh, an ellipse but we can get some information here so we're going to group our x's together so um, if I group my x's together I'm going to get x prime squared and I'm factoring out a 5 so this is going to be plus 4 x prime. All right. And then we have uh, just the y prime squared equals 5. Now to complete the square, you take half of 4 and square it, um, and that's going to be plus 4. So since we're adding uh, basically 20, it's 5 times 4, you have to add 20 on this side. Therefore, when you condense this, we're going to get 5 times x prime plus you take half of the 4 2 squared plus y prime equals 25 and then if you divide each term by 25 we're going to get um, let's see I haven't used this too much all right x prime plus 2 squared divided by 5 plus y prime squared divided by 25 equals 1. So this is an equation of the vertical ellipse because our bigger number is under the y with the center of negative 2 comma 0 and this is in the x prime y prime system. And that's it. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.